Hello everybody and welcome to my first speed build. Today I am building, I'm laughing because Jackie's playing with one of her toys in the background so I apologize for that, but today I am building or attempting to build a modern farmhouse cabin. Um, this is a starter home so it is basically empty. I give you a really nice um, structure so it has a tons of potential. Um, I'm building this in Daxon's Creek um, but you can definitely use it in any 20 by 30 lot. I think that's the size of this lot. Um, this house has one bedroom, one bathroom, kitchen, living room is sort of like an open area and it also has a upstairs flex space. Right now it is open to the first floor so you can see um, the downstairs area from the second floor but you can definitely close it off and make it a second bedroom or make it really anything you want. Actually, if you close it off, it solves the problem that I encountered, which was the roofs um, were clipping and I just, I didn't know how to solve that um, using just the rails. So eventually you'll see what I'm talking about, but if anyone knows how to fix that, please, please, please let me know in the comments because I'm just starting uh, this build stuff and I usually just do renos and that's what I feel like I'm good at but I'm giving builds a try and I want to give out a disclaimer right now this is not an original idea I actually came across this house on Pinterest so I will be linking the um the post that i saw in the description so now i am trying to place those steps right there and i'm having issues for i don't know why i thought it was the roof so i moved it and i it wasn't the roof so i ended up just moving the platform and then moving it back and that worked for I some reason it worked but throughout the whole video you are gonna see that I am typing in the move objects move objects cheat and the oh my gosh and moving the platform a lot I am turning on and turning off the cheat because I think I said this before but I don't like using it I don't like using the cheat um, because then whenever you place the lot, it will remove the objects if you don't have the cheat on and it just causes a lot of problems as well as whenever you're playing the actual game, it removes some objects if you don't have the cheat on. So I just like to turn it on, turn it off, test if it's still working and usually that does the trick. Another thing that I guess I should have mentioned at the very beginning, this house only uses um, base game stuff and cats and dogs stuff. I've already uploaded this house to the gallery and for some reason it says it has mods or CC. The house itself doesn't have any mods or CC. I do have a modded game, but I didn't put any custom content on the house itself. Um, like I said, I already uploaded this house to the gallery, so if you want to use it in your game, you can go ahead and download it. I will give the link in the description, but my gallery ID is Veronica Diepa, so you can find me there. Um, if you don't want to click through the link that I will give you in the description or if you're doing it in game. Anywho, going back to the build, I, like I said, I had decided to use only cats and dogs 
as well as base game items so that if you only have this expansion pack you can just download it um and do that i while doing the house while building the house i came across so many seasons items that i could have used and i think it would have fit very well and so that got me thinking maybe i should do a upgraded version of this house so people that don't really care about a starter home and want all those seasons items and upgrades can go ahead and download it um here you're about to see something that i didn't understand why it was happening which was whenever i was creating rooms up in the platform it would delete the windows and the oh my gosh and the doors i didn't quite understand it so every single time i would make a room i would have to like make the platform floor level i don't understand it so as you right there you can see that the roof was clipping but it was only the very top and i was fine with that i was i mean i was upset about it but it is what it is and i was fine with that whenever i make it a a loft it opens not, it doesn't open sorry it shows the whole roof clipping not just the very top and the floor plan that i was doing i ended up changing because i saw that the image that i was looking at actually shared the floor plan and i liked the floor plan that they were showing way better than the one that i had in mind but i might change the floor plan for the upgraded version of the house because of the whole um roof clipping it's really really frustrating it is very discouraging because i put so many hours into this freaking little house and it just it, it wasn't it just wasn't working you're about to see it i spent so much time trying to make it not clip and there it goes that's it that's the roof oh my gosh look at that I was looking at it for so long. I was looking for every single angle. I was like, what in the world? How is it? How is that happening? Apparently, I, I spent tons of time Googling this, but apparently whenever you use uh, the fencing inside and do that like looking downstairs sort of thing, it doesn't count it as a room so your roof clips if i'm wrong please correct me in the comments um but i you know what i didn't try make it two separate like roofs maybe i should try that oh my gosh i'm gonna try that for the other one and see if that works i did i tried everything i tried making so many different little rooms upstairs that were closed i even thought about making the upstairs smaller but it was already so small that i didn't want to make it any smaller and take that room oh I, I i i still can't get over it i was so frustrated it was like i said it was so discouraging because i had already spent that much time and effort and then it felt like it was all to waste because that area wasn't perfect that i kind of at one point i took a break and this, this video is obviously edited so you can't really tell that i took a break but i took a break and i that i had to step back and look at it again because it was so annoying and you can tell I'm getting frustrated right now, so I'll stop talking about it and continue. The original house doesn't have, 
I mean, it does. It has one window on the side. And I was like, absolutely not. I need to add more windows because I, it, it's, I mean, it's, it would be literally a rectangle without any windows. Like that is not, that doesn't translate well in game. Now I'm putting up some wallpaper. Well, not wallpaper, I'm painting the wall, I guess. And I wish I would have kept the original floor, the concrete floor. I find it, I find it so pretty, I don't know. And also I kind of wish now I would have kept the white floors as well. I end up changing it to the to a dark wood and it, I think it makes it look smaller <gasps> oh my gosh this always happens to me I look back and I'm like what was I thinking what I had was fine why did I change it but I remember whenever I did go ahead and put the kitchen cabinets I feel like it was clashing a lot so I ended up changing it because of that also, it kind of pissed me off that the windows were white inside instead of dark. Do I keep that window like that? That is bothering me so much. I better fix that. If I keep that, I need to go back and fix that if I haven't fixed it. Oh. I didn't fix it. I never fixed that window. I ne I didn't notice it. I oh my god. I am so sorry. That this is my first actual build. So I uh, I made so many mistakes. What a rookie. What a rookie mistake. <laughs> I am so sorry guys. The 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 build is already uploaded. So um if y'all notice it just go ahead and fix it um i apologize uh but yeah i really like what i had there why did i change all that why did i change all that i changed it to an uglier version of this oh my gosh i'm so bad Oh, I remember why I changed it. It was super expensive. Yeah, it was super expensive. <laughs> so I changed it. Anyway, right there I was getting uh, annoyed at the floor. So I wanted to change it. And that is whenever... That's when I decided enough is enough with the white. And I made it brown. And you know what? It actually looks better. So I... I take it back. I'm glad I did it. I am mad though that the white swatch for the counters is actually like a green, but for the um, cabinets, it's white. So, yeah. Pissed. Pissed about that. Now comes the part where everyone is probably gonna come at me. As you can tell or see, from a split second ago, I looked at a fireplace. The original house had a fireplace and I wanted a fireplace. And you might think, Veronica, that fireplace was like $900 or it was a thousand something. Why did you put something that's not that useful and the build for a starter home that is not a starter item. Well, to that I say, I am treating fireplaces as if they were part of the build. You know what I'm saying? Like, as if it was part of the build mode. No, that doesn't make sense. What I'm trying to say is, if you were to buy a house in real life right now, and it included a fireplace, it would be built into the house, right? 
it's not something it's not a decor item and that is how i'm gonna treat it as if it was an actual item in the house that came with it so i apologize i apologize if you think it's not useful if you want more money go ahead delete the fireplace do that get some extra money put a tv there i don't know but i will say this if your power gets cut off that is a great light source <laughs> and you can warm yourself up there as well just make sure to upgrade it to uh, fireproof so um so it doesn't catch on fire and then you die or well i mean your sim dies um, unless you're into that i know some people that want to see their sims die but i'm not that person so right there i spotted another mistake that i made i was painting or putting the rocks on the uh chimney and i definitely didn't put a wall on a piece that i thought that you couldn't see which is the oh, second floor you can definitely see it from the side so that is another mistake whenever you download this and put it in your game and you have enough simoleons go ahead and paint that too because it is bothering me Ugh. but you know what everyone makes mistakes and this is my first build and i honestly think that is really not that bad for a first build granted i did use a floor plan uh, that i found so did i really make this um i guess that's up for debate i'd say yes because i did put it into um i did scale it to the sims but it's kind of difficult to do and i did it my first try whenever i made the little rectangle and i did other stuff should have done it a little bit bigger probably not should have done it smaller yes definitely definitely should have made a smaller house for a starter home um or maybe not give all the luxuries because I, I really wanted to make a really nice starter home and then reality hit me everything in game just like in real life is really expensive so it's really hard to give you a really nice starter home also something i found out the hard way a lot of the base game items are really ugly like compared to what the items look now they look like they don't belong in the game everything is so much better now and those base game items just look so like play-doh-y i don't know how to explain i mean that is the style that they were going for at the beginning at the very beginning and the hairs are also showing that but it is clear that it has evolved to something different and so the base game items sometimes really don't match unless it, they are from an update which those match way better you could tell i was trying to fix the uh, the roof again because for some reason i wasn't giving up then i was like you know what i'll furnish the upstairs so i don't look like a bad person because i love the upstairs i'm furnished but then i was like no because i need to give this house some curb appeal and give you guys some landscaping which i'm about to do and i'm not that great at landscaping and i was i don't know if y'all checked that budget out but i was balling on a budget because i already had um spent nineteen thousand dollars and my budget was twenty thousand so i had to do something in less than a thousand dollars which was very difficult and i think i end up selling some stuff from the indoors and changing some stuff so i can give more curb appeal to the house i am one of those players that i actually rather have a really nice house outside than inside because i i don't know why i guess i care what other sims think about my house <laughs> but right now I am checking out the debug items because 
um, a lot of them are free and I was like you know what maybe there's something there and then I saw the mi the mystical magic bean portal tree that I've never seen in my whole entire life and I had to google it I was like how d where is this coming from I guess it's whenever you're a plant sim. I've actually never played with plant sims and I used to play with plant sims all the time But now it's just temporary. So what's the fun in that? No fun And ever since the Sims 4 came out I for some reason haven't been interested in playing with mythical um, creatures, so I don't have any of the paranormal themed expansion packs stuff packs game packs did i say that already i don't know i don't have them so i don't have vampires i don't have the magic stuff i don't have the um the paranormal i don't even have the halloween stuff pack <laughs> i i don't i really don't know why i i just it's not my priority it's really not anyway i'm gonna start wrapping up because the video is coming to an end if you're still watching thank you so so much for sticking around if you like this video make sure to give it a like and if you haven't subscribed also make sure to subscribe i post videos every single monday and friday i post animal crossing videos on mondays and the sims 4 videos on fridays also, if you know how to fix the roof clipping, please let me know in the comments because I would love to know for future reference so that I'm not about to cry about it. <laughs> anyway, again, thank you so, so much for watching. Oh, and quick reminder, I still have my... Um, maxis match custom content master list in the description so make sure to check that out if you are needing a place or a resource for uh for you to find creators anyway thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you guys on the next video bye